Hello everyone. I am Shobha Kastila from the Department of Biomedical Engineering, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. I am going to discuss about the topic fluoroscopy. Let's get into the topic. What is fluoroscopy? Fluoroscopy is the study of moving body structures. It is similar to an X-ray image. Fluoroscopy is also an important imaging tool. It allows physicians to look at various body systems. We will continue some more points about fluoroscopy. It shows continuous X-ray images. It plays out like a movie. Images taken quickly allow for this to happen. It shows movement of body parts. It allows instruments or dyes. We will see about the fluoroscopy machine. It takes a continuous stream of X-ray images. Approximately 25 to 30 images per second are taken. Images are viewed on a monitor. It is sort of like a television screen. How to create a fluoroscopic image? The amount of radiation needed varies. It is based on the procedure. Important characteristics of fluoroscopy is sensitivity. Sensitivity means amount of exposure needed to create an image. Non-intensified fluoroscopy. It uses a fluorescent screen only for a receptor. It should not be used because of excessive exposure. Fluoroscopic uses. It is used in a variety of procedures. Examples include orthopedic surgery. It observes fractures and healing bones. Catheter insertion that is direct catheter placement that is angiography or angioplasty barium x-rays it observes movement through the gastrointestinal tract blood flow studies that is viewing the blood flow to organs further uses of fluoroscopic includes injections into the knees that is called as visco supplementation injections locating foreign bodies percutaneous vertebroplasty that is treating compressed fractures of the spine injections into joints or spine image guided anesthetic injections so all these are some of the fluoroscopic uses now we will see about the barium x-rays fluoroscopy used alone gives physicians opportunity to see movement in the intestines. Barium moves through them during the procedure. Risk or benefits of fluoroscopy. Because fluoroscopy is an x-ray machine, it has the same risk as other x-ray machines. The two major risks include there is a small possibility of developing cancer due to the exposure to the radiation. Injuries such as burns caused by the radiation. Benefits. If a patient is in need of a fluoroscopy, the benefit outweighs the minute risk. Fluoroscopy procedures. The main procedure involves insertion of an IV into patient's hand or arm. Patient moved onto x-ray table. Additional line may be inserted for catheter procedures. X-ray scanner used to create fluoroscopic images of the body. Dye may be injected into the IV at this point. Type of care will be decided on after the procedure has finished. In-depth procedure. Continuous X-ray passes through the body. Beam passes onto your television monitor. Body parts and motions can be seen in great detail. Things to consider. Two main things to consider. Main thing is area most exposed. 
total radiation absorbed. These two are the two main things to consider. Area most exposed means highest absorbed dose. In the general area as well as specific organs. Total radiation absorbed can result in injuries, burns etc. caused by prolonged exposure. Overview of fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopy is also an imaging tool, allows physicians to look at various body systems, it shows movement of body parts, it also shows instruments or dyes. It takes a continuous stream of x-ray images, approximately 25 to 30 images per second are taken. It is used in a variety of procedures, orthopedic surgeries, catheter insertion, barium x-rays, blood flow studies. The further overview of fluoroscopy includes two major risks. There is a small possibility of developing cancer due to the exposure to the radiation. Injuries such as burns caused by the radiation. Benefits outweighs the risk. Precise procedure. Plenty of steps followed to ensure a successful procedure. Plenty to consider during the procedure. Area most exposed. Total radiation observed. Thank you.